Hey guys, in this tutorial, we take a look at how to bind layers to bones in Anime Studio. To get started, open up your copy of Anime Studio. Now, if you're not sure what Anime Studio is, I recommend you check out the link I have provided in this video. It's an animation software, and it's actually pretty cool. It's really simple to use, and it has a bunch of great tools that allows you to draw and animate. So if you're looking for an animation software, I definitely recommend that you check out that link. Anyway, once you have Anime Studio open, go ahead and draw something out on your stage. In this case, I drew out an arm, and it's on four different vector layers. So, and that's important because we'll be placing these layers onto the bones that we'll be creating here shortly, as that's what this tutorial is for. So make sure you have at least two different layers for the object that you draw. Now once you have your object, let's go to New Layer and choose Bone from the Layers dialog box. And if your layer appears anywhere else on the list, make sure you just click and drag it to the top, your bone layer. And once it's at the top, we can rename it by simply double clicking on it and choosing name to be bone. Or you can name it whatever you want. And once you've done that, click OK. Now what we need to do is take all of these layers that we drew out and put them under the bone layer so that we can um, work within that skeleton for those layers. So click on the first vector layer on your list, hold and shift, and then click the bottom layer to highlight all of the layers. Then click and drag to put them in the bone layer. Now all of those layers are underneath and inside the bone layer. And you can tell this because they have indented. And also, if you were to choose and click this arrow by this layer, you can hide and show those layers underneath that bone layer. So that's one way to check. The next step is to add some bones to the bone layer. So make sure that the bone layer is still highlighted. And then come over here to your toolbar and select the Add Bone button. Now we're going to start at the top and create three separate bones. One for the top section, including the arm part and the sleeve, and then the middle part of the arm, and then the hand. And it's important that we go in order because each bone will react accordingly to the other. So make sure you start at the top and you go downward. So start at the sleeve, and just click and drag to move down to about the elbow. And if you have to readjust these, that's fine. You can easily do that later on. Next, we'll just put one here. And then finally, we'll put one here. Okay, once you have your bones down, we need to bind the bones to the layers. So let's click on the first layer in our list, the hand, and then come over here to the toolbar and select the bind layer tool. With the hand still selected, click on the bone that's in the hand. You'll know you did it right when the bone turns red. That means that you have selected that bone. So next, let's click on the sleeve layer, since that's the next one on our list. And now the sleeve is up here, so we're going to want to click on the top bone up here. So with the bind layer tool still selected, just click on that top bone. Then the bottom piece for the arm, we just click on that bone. And then the top piece of the arm, we just click on that bone. So now, our layers are now bound to the bones. Now we can test this out. Remember, in Anime Studio, when you are on frame zero, that is your workspace. You can go ahead and play with bones and move things around, 
and it won't affect the animation that you export. So just keep that in mind when you decide you need to play around with something. So in order to test this, let's click on the Manipulate Bone uh, tool and make sure that you are again on frame zero. When we come over here to the bottom of our hand and click and drag, we can see that the bone seems to react in a pretty natural way. Now, there might be a couple of tweaks you need to make. You might need to adjust the position of your bones, or you might need to adjust the position of your um, objects in your layers. But for the most part, this seems to work. Now, I might do a couple of things here. Like, for instance, when I move my hand up like this, of course, it doesn't look very good. You can see the part of the arm here, and of course, the hand shouldn't be able to move like that. It's kind of unnatural. So if we just click on the Select Bone tool, and then select the Hand Bone, come up to Bone Constraints, and then enable the Angle Constraints option. When we do this, you'll see now that we have two red lines that come down here. These red lines indicate the limit to the um, movement of that certain bone. And in this case, we probably want to limit the hand pretty, um, we probably want to give it some pretty good restrictions here so that it doesn't go wild when we're moving the bone. So let's try putting this at about negative 30 and 30. You'll notice when I do this that the lines are now much lower, giving us um, not as much movement to work with for this wrist. And we'll just close this and test it again to see how it works. So let's choose the Manipulate Bones tool again. Come over here and then move the hand and the arm. And you'll see now that I can only move the hand so far. And we still have that movement though with the bone um, and it seems to work pretty well. And so that um, is how you bind your bones to your layers. And again, there are many different ways to use the bone uh, tools. You can of course bind them to layers. You can bind them to points. So you can just bind them to specific parts of drawings basically. You can use Anime Studio's strength options to kind of automate the process. And you can even combine all of these to do different effects. So this is just one way, but it should get you started on working with bones. I hope you guys found this helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.